Hello everyone, it's uh, time to draw our results. Uh, you might remember the video, the thumbnail said these must go and I was kind of leaning over like this because I had all those packages stocked up from the ground up. Uh, 11 packages actually to uh, find new homes, uh, to explore FPV, maybe crash, repair, fly, crash again, uh, maybe uh, sell it. You know, what's it yours? It's yours. Uh, a little refresher. Our first three packages are for U.S. only. That's not to mean that our international friends can't win. I have substitute smaller quads that our international friends can get if we have an international winner for the first three packages. And that's because they're big and heavy. And uh, I, I fully expect them, I actually kind of know, that their shipping costs are going to come outside the budget for the channel. So this channel, I, I give a lot of stuff away. Um, for two reasons. One, I don't feel comfortable selling it because I have flown all this stuff, just about all this stuff. There's one of the ready to fly packages. It's the Ishin 4 inch long range. I got two of those for some reason. So I flew one. I didn't fly the other one. But generally speaking, when I review stuff, I fly them a bunch of times, you know, 40, 50 times. Maybe not in the case of long rangers because, you know, they're big and they fly slow, but anyways, so I crash them, I make mistakes, I have uh, lapses of judgment, sometimes I get a wild hair, try something I'm not prepared for, or I think I'm going to hit a gap and I don't hit it, or I'm not good enough on the throttle and I tumble across the ground, so everything has been crashed, and most of it's been crashed you know, several times, so I have no assurance that if you were to pay for it, even let's say you pay 15% of what retail cost is, that you would get it and it would fly beyond, you know, a first flight or even a little bit. So that, that doesn't give me any comfort in selling stuff. So I don't sell anything. And I think that uh, this is my hobby and being able to take advantage of the position that the channel's in and be able to take stuff that vendors send me to show and review on the channel and then turn that over into either someone getting back in the air. Uh, maybe they crash and have a repair they can't quite afford so they could take one of these and get in the air or get started in the hobby or someone who's well established but they're doing something similar in their communities and trying to reach out to uh, whether it's schools and their STEM programs or uh, someone down the, uh, the, the street. Uh, maybe they have a, a nephew or a niece they're trying to get involved in FPV. You know, these things, I say it quite a bit, they need to come off my shelves and they need to go find someone to have some fun with. And a byproduct of that is uh, my wife doesn't get upset. She comes down every once in a while and she sees all the boxes. I keep a stack of empty boxes too, by the way, so I can always show those. It's not smoke and mirrors because I'm to show on her empty boxes and I'm telling her they're empty. <laughs> but anyway, so she doesn't care for the clutter. And uh, so that helps me out as well. And then I take the money that the channel creates, the revenue the channel creates, and I pay for shipping. $35 per package. That generally, since I've started doing that uh, a while back, covers just about everywhere. Um, but in the case of big, heavy things and getting outside of kind of the confines of the U.S., uh, the, the shipping can go way up. Remember, I don't ship batteries. So even if they came with batteries, I don't ship the batteries because then I have to do the responsible thing and make sure I let the carrier know that it's got hazardous, hazardous materials in there. And then the pricing goes way up for shipping uh, or they just won't accept it. Um, I've heard that as well from time to time. I don't know if that was just a specific time in, in our shipping issues or something like that. Uh, so you will need to buy batteries for the quads. Um, in the case where it has an accessories and accessory bags, I usually try to keep that stuff together and you'll get whatever came with it. Um, of course, when it comes to props, some of the props got banged up and got thrown away. Uh, maybe they got all out broken. Um, I may have dropped a screw on the ground, so you might be short a screw, things of that nature. Again, we've got 11 packages. I believe if I crawl, uh, recall correctly, it was nine quads and then a pair of goggles and one other thing. And I can't remember, but I'm sure you'll go back and watch the other video if you want to see. Uh, also, we're going to do the uh, random.org, the integer, integer generator, and that will be how we pick. I've got every all the uh, uh, Google Forms uh, applications in a spreadsheet. So uh, column one, of course, is our header row. So we won't use column one. We'll start at column two or row two. 
and then cleared out of the bottom, which last I checked before I started recording was uh, 2,752, something like that. Uh, so that will be our last number, and then we'll click that button for to generate one number 11 times, and then that will tell us who on the spreadsheet is going to uh, win uh, that particular prize. If you're selected first, you win the first prize that was in the original giveaway video. If you're picked second, you win the second prize, so on and so forth. Again, I pay $35 on the shipping, um, I think that covers everything. If it goes over $35, that is your portion to cover. I only do $35. If you can imagine $35 times 11 packages, not a small piece of uh, hash or cabbage, as some people say. Uh, let's go to the screen recording and take a look at the uh, the video uh, shortly so we can get into the actual results, which you are looking. Oh, one last thing I forgot to say. It's a little bit anticlimactic, but... Maybe not because, you know, time is short. You know, I'm working back in the office now, so I don't have access or, or time to do some of the things I did when I was working from home. Uh, but most of the winners should already have some form of notification allowing them to know that they won. And uh, for anyone who wants to try to fool or fake, not going to happen. I've been doing this a while. <laughs> Uh, there's a pretty good uh, method that I've got going, and in this particular case, it's uh, their email address. So unless you know who the winner's email address is and you won't see it, then I can't really be fooled. So let's, uh, as I said, get down to the screen recording, and we'll start picking winners out. All right, we got the screen recording go. Let's uh, refresh the original video here. Uh, we got 5,719. You can see I've already change the title and I've removed the link out of there. Uh, 1,000 thumbs up and 10 thumbs down. I did notice a few comments in there about the thumbs down. It's not something that bothers me too much. Uh, you know, the internet's a big place and it takes all kinds. Um, I, I just chalk it up to that, you know, whether they don't, the people who thumbs down don't like giveaway videos, don't like me, they don't like FPV, they don't like the thumbnail, they don't like my haircut. I, I, who, who really knows? But, um, I don't take it personally, and I don't get too upset. Uh, I suspect it might be maybe the fact that this isn't my job, maybe. I don't know. Um, you know, people can get upset about, you know, a lot of things these days. So none of our concern. We see we have 591 comments, which those comments uh, were great. Uh, a lot of comments about uh, my recent transformations. And I, I'm i leaning towards covering that because I know a lot of people have asked over the last... A um, couple of months and asked me about what I'm doing and, and I understand and I generally have been typing responses and I know those responses are, are fairly muted as you, it's it's tough to cover in type text you know that transformation process and everything that goes into it but anyways uh, let's go and over here to this and I intentionally scrolled down and we've got our responses, uh, 2,754. I did ask uh, a couple of questions, and uh, I, I've kind of been through those, but I wanted, to, for the purposes of our video over here, that to look and, and when it comes to removing something out of the videos, you know, I'm always looking for feedback. What do people want? You know, maybe uh, my, the formula isn't really, doesn't fit anymore for whatever reason. But uh, the, the largest uh, number of people who selected answers um, outside of nothing, nothing was in here a few times, um, was that uh, the uh, quick spets, that we don't necessarily need to know all the little specs about the quads. And you may have noticed I've been recently kind of testing that out. And I really haven't gotten any comments about the abbreviated quick specs that I've been doing on a few quads. So, you know, changing things up is always fun, keeps it fresh. Uh, shorter post-flight discussion was also in there, but it was only at 16.8%. You know, some people might have filled it out as just thinking, you know, I got to click something. Uh, you didn't have to, but, you know, I appreciate you taking the time. And then 23% uh, was the next highest at uh, second place and only having one flight. Because sometimes I do have multiple flights, and I think for some people uh, that gets a little bit long in the tooth. And, and, and sometimes it is for me, too, coming up with something to talk about during uh, and two entire flights is something. So, uh, yeah, I'm sensitive to that as well. And uh, I'm trying to be mindful of your time um, when I do make videos. And then we've got our spreadsheet here. Uh, actually, if you notice the cut there, I had forgotten to um, take in the columns and resize them a little bit so we could see some of these responses. Some people might want to see these as well, uh, especially when we get to... Um, going through the answers. But uh, yeah, I've been through these and I've uh, kind of pondered through them. And 
you know, the, a, a lot of similarities in the choices, a lot of about uh, cost and, you know, switching from, um, you know, one type of quad to another. That's conversations I've had over time of people that maybe started out on five inch and then they've found their way into a micros just because it's pretty much fly anywhere sort of uh, quad and allows you to get some of that quad fun time uh, without much fuss. Uh, let's screw down to the bottom. Let's see if Google actually captured. See, this shows 2,755, but over here it's the 2,754. Oh, I forgot. <laughs> column number one is our header column. So boom, on point. Outstanding. And then we have the friendly names and the email addresses. I did uh, hide that column. I'll use that for my purposes after this video is uh, created. All right, so we need to use 2754 as our top number, 2752 there. I typed that earlier in the day, 2754. Again, we are going to get uh, one number and one column, and we're going to do this button right here 11 times. Uh, the, this recording will serve as my record um, to make sure I contact everyone. If you, by chance, typed your email address in wrong, we'll try to work something out, but you know, you've really got to convince me because uh, I've had a number of people over the years of doing giveaways that have always tried to convince me someone they're not. And they've gone to a lot of trouble. Um, unfortunately for them, I don't think it's worked out. So uh, hopefully you typed your email addresses in there correctly. Uh, those that have been selected should have an email from me. If you don't already, you should have one shortly. So I guess there's a little bit of uh, excitement. All right, let's start with number one. This is one of those first three packages that is US only, but I do have micro quads to send if you are international. 941, 941. How far do I need to go to go to 941? 941, where are you at? Johnny Flyer. Uh, what's the roughest FPV choice you've had, ever had to make spending time away from family? Yeah, if my review videos were to be shortened, what should I remove? And he voted for a battery weight. Don't mean to call anybody out on that. I, you know, again, I, I, I accept this stuff as feedback. It's uh, things I need to consider. So Johnny Flyer, hopefully you're in the U.S. If not, we do have a micro that we'll get to you. And uh, we'll send it to wherever you are as long as the shipping is under uh, $35. Back to random.org and we are going to go again. 774. 774. Ian. The FPV goggle minefield. Yeah, there are so many goggles. It can be tough. You know, most people that, you know, have been around are all flying fat sharks and maybe orcas like I am. Uh, I went the orca route because I wanted to support new companies. Um, plus, it also had a 60 FPS DVR. And with doing micros, DVR is 99% of the flight footage. So I had struggled uh, over a couple of years of smoothing out my flight audio that's on one camera recording at 60 frames per second and a DVR that was inconsistent between 24 and 30 frames per second. Um, actually switched to Sky Zone for a while because theirs was more consistent. Um, so the Orca goggles really solved my workflow. So definitely worth it for me, but not everybody. But it could be tough to choose anything. Ian is uh, winner number two. So let's go back to random.org. I need to be a little shorter in the tooth so we can get through this for everyone, don't we? 2163. That's way down here at the bottom, almost at the end. 2163. The master of radios. I sacrificed a few of my RC planes and quads, just minor damage and repairs in order to teach my friends to... I kind of want to read this all now because let's see if I can get this spread out. Uh, where'd it go? Master of all radios. In order to teach my friends to fly so that they could fly alongside me. Shorter post-flight discussion. Yeah, I appreciate that. Okay, so master of radios. You are number... Three? So the master's the master of radios is uh, number three. Back to random over here. Oh, number nine. Holy catfish, it's clear up here at the top. Number nine. Whoa. Took a lot further to go than I thought. Ben, buy the latest quad or get the kids' birthday presents. And get the kids the birthday presents, please, Ben. <laughs> Nothing. Ben's a perfect. I appreciate it, Ben. Okay, Ben is number four. I'm just making a note on a notepad on which number I have drawn. That way I don't get, uh, I don't have to stop the recording and go back and figure it out. Okay, random.org again. Numbered, whoa, back at the other end of the list. 2538. 
25. Haile Quist. I think I got that right. Hopefully, I'm close at least. Uh, roughest decision is starting. Yeah, it can be tough to pull it, a hobby. And uh, they're new. So, uh, yeah, doing their research, doing their homework, trying to make the best choice they can with the money that they're investing. But in this particular case, you've got a free quad of some sort. That'll help get you started. All right, I need to write that down. We have picked number five. We are going to go back to random.org for number six. Who's got their fingers crossed or their lucky charm with them? 639. 639. I think someone told me I could type up here and it will take me there. We'll try that on the next one. Remind me. <laughs> 639. Greg, whether or not to keep looking for my quad that fail ceased on top of a mountain. Oh, man. Oh, Greg supports only having one flight. Oh, yeah. No quad left behind. That's, yeah, that's tough. Oh, man. All right, so Greg was number six. We've got five more to go. We're going to try the trick where we type in the number. I'm wondering where you type it in at. I think you type it there. We'll we'll try it out together here. So, oh, number 14. That's easy. So if I type 14 in here, there was a problem. Okay, I'm not doing something right. Um, that's a selection... Don't really know what I do. Ah, we're just gonna. Well, 14's right here, anyways. Is that. Oh, I can't hardly read the text on screen. Is that RNAV or is that an M? M off? Crash and burn my quad or lose it in the lake. Oh, there. It's similar to the last one, losing in a mountain. Uh, and he is not so special on the battery and the weight combination of the quick specs. All right. So I'm I'm gonna have to pull that or zoom that up on as far as the name, but of course there's an email address I have to look at as well. You are number seven. All right, back to random.org for number eight five sixty. I'll need to figure this out. Manage names ranges. Hmm. No, not work. I guess I could do a find. Do 560. Well, that didn't do anything. Because it doesn't... Apparently, it looks for data in the sheet, not necessarily the column and rows. Well, went too far. Okay, so we're going to do it the old-fashioned way until I figure that out some other time. Cyrus, you are number eight. Uh, what drone to start with and the quick specs. He supports dropping the quick specs. All right. So Cyrus is number eight. And we'll have number nine coming up here shortly. Get my mouse over here. 9.35. What a fair number of low numbers. We haven't had too many in the, like, 1,000s range. What was the number again? 9.35. Or 9.35. 9.35. Maurizio? Use the simulator throughout the pandemic as I lost my a uh, lot of my job and my little Mob 7 decided to dive into a puddle first week of April. Yeah, the simulator's good for getting some of that muscle memory. I, I haven't used simulators a lot, though. Uh, kind of when I got started, there weren't simulators. Well, there were. It was real flight. It was mainly helicopters and planes. I think maybe after I had been in FPV a year, real flight may have brought in a quad, or there maybe, maybe it was FPV free rider got started, and I used that to a degree. But I've always enjoyed just going out and flying more. When I'm inside... I'd rather do other things than and practice. It's typically recording and editing videos. But, uh, yeah, it's tough when you have a, a micro lands in a little bit of water. I'm always very cautious about that. You know, I get water puddles in. Oh, excuse me. A little nighttime yawn there in my own yard. All right, so Maurizio is number eight, right? Well, I hope that's eight. I guess if I do get it wrong, I'll have to come up with another quad, won't I? So pick a number nine. 220. Again, a small number. What's going on, random? Make, making me think I need to reload if I don't get something in the 1000s. 220. 220. 220. Adyinka? I think I got that right. Not buying bind and flies. So you don't like bind and flies? Is that what you mean? It's the roughest choice? Or you're wanting to build, but you feel compelled to buy bind and flies? No, either way you go. You got a free quad. So that was number nine, right? <laughs> Track of myself. 
Come on, random. There we go. 1957. 1957. 1957. Keep going. Oh, I saw it. 1957. Jacob. ELRS versus Crossfire. Eh, it's not really a tough choice. I mean... ELRS is going to be cheaper, and there's going to be more offerings in ELRS. Uh, Crossfire is, you know, one company. Uh, I guess on the upside of Crossfire, it's been around for a long time. It's well tested. It's got a uh, a very hardy user base, so um, faults and failures should be minimal. Whereas you might look at ELRS and having an open source thing, and you might say, well, it doesn't quite have the testing in the background, but you know, th that just kind of that's a, a personal reflection. Uh, myself with the open source, if you jump over into the Discord and you just see all of the activity in there, whenever you go, like my latest uh, on the Nemino uh, stuff, I needed to get some help to get that set up. And out of the box, it bound up just fine, but updating it, it wasn't working as expected. So I, I jumped over to the Discord and, and mind you, I understand that I might get undue attention, but just to see people in there, and see the messages scrolling by at any time. So like we we were uh, we were at horseback riding. I'm sorry, I'm getting long in the tooth again. And my youngest was doing all this stuff. Uh, basically, all I have to do is make sure she's safe and put on the saddle. She can't carry the saddle. She can't mount it to the top of the horse. Um, so I'm just kind of standing there scrolling through my phone, making sure that I'm in the area and keeping her and uh, making sure the horse is calm and everything like that. And so I pop into the Discord and I type out a message. And then, you know, within a relatively short period of time, a couple of minutes, I start getting responses. And then I have to admit that I'm not with the equipment I'm asking questions about. I have to uh, get a little shame there. And that's that's OK. It was all in good fun. Um, but, you know, that's a pretty active user base. And it's going to be cheaper. I think I said that already. And you're going to have all sorts of different ones to buy if you are looking for size or weight or feature set of the equipment um, or you, maybe it's a brand recognition that you're going for, you're going to have all sorts of options. So I think if you're shooting professionally, if you're paid to do a job, you're not going to take new equipment with you. You're going to take tried and true equipment, the meaning crossfire in this particular case, but or, or ghost or whatever you're using. You know, And I don't suspect too many people are, are watching this video that do shoot professionally. That's just my guesstimation of what people who shoot professionally would do. Okay, I hope uh, Jacob was number nine. We're going for number 10. 2218. Good to see something in the 2000s there again. We were close in the last one at 1957. 22, 2218. 2218. Zach Melvin. Uh, to leave a quad behind when it's lost. Isn't that like the, uh, the second time we've had that sort of thing? We had one with a mountain and then we had one in a puddle. Um, let's see. Um, whatever, they're your videos. <laughs> Is that really is him? That's pretty funny. I, I think it's funny. Maybe it's not supposed to be funny. But Zach, uh, you are selector number 10. Let's go back to random.org and pick our final one. Number 11. Mark it down on my sheet. This is it. 1697. Oh, thank goodness we got one in the thousands again. 1697. Spread the love around. 1697. Silky. Switching to digital, DJI expensive, Fat Shark still lagging behind. Yeah, some see it that way. I, I, just, I see it differently, of course. My, my view is, you know, I, I have a hard time flying DJI, especially in the house, close proximity the way I want to. So, and being a micro person, DJI has far fewer offerings that are my favorites. My favorites are still analog because of the, the height to weight and size. Um, but yeah, DJI is expensive, and Fat Shark is is definitely, as far as image quality goes, not where DJI is. But you know, all takes time. We're in a pretty good position to be in FPV. We have those two good choices, and we still have good old analog to use as well. So congratulations to all our winners. Hopefully, I just picked eleven. But if it turns out to be eleven or more. I'll find things. Uh, still, again, if I went over the number 11, what I'll do is I'll stick with the prizes uh, from 1 through 11 for our original group. And if I pick 12 and 13, I will find other things to get to you. Um, and I'll let you know what those are in case you don't want them. You know, I always want to give that opportunity. I don't want to send something to somebody that they absolutely don't want. Um, 
I appreciate everybody coming and all the answers and taking the time. Uh, the Google Form things I think works out uh, pretty well. You know, it, we don't have any sort of video that really springs out of control. You know, there's an uptick in traffic and whatnot, but I, I think this is really the best way that I have discovered over the last few years of doing these giveaways and being able to, to spread the love and try to get it to someone who might be interested in, in FPV. Um, whether those parties still sell it to turn it over to, to buy their products or for repairs or some, something else that they want or need or whatever, or they turn it on to somebody else, I'm good with all that. As long as it gets used and it helps somebody in the FPV community continue to have fun and enjoy their time. Uh, all those that were selected, you should either already have an email from me or you will be getting an email from me. I will edit this video together and try to get it out tomorrow. I know it's been a full eight days since I posted the original giveaway video, so many people are probably starting to get antsy. The winners, please be patient. Patient pants time again. I've been told I need to sell patient pants on the channel. I don't know. I never really looked at generating additional revenue through merch, and it's always kind of felt kind of egotistical and icky to me. Maybe I'm just an old guy. I don't know. But uh, yeah, you'll need to have your patient pants. And it's going to take me a week, maybe more, to get everything out. Because I do try to balance the printing, the packaging, and the shipping, and fly time, and edit time, and you know all the things that I do. Because most of that comes in after work, or maybe at lunch hour, or something like that. So it, you know, I don't move fast on these things. Uh, just like with my review videos, it takes me two weeks to put together a review video from beginning to end. It takes me about a week or maybe a few extra days to get all the packages out but it all depends on how quickly you respond so check your email check your spam folder um and if you were selected and you don't have those things we'll have to work out some other way of uh verifying you and i have a i have a pretty good method for that i appreciate everybody who's watched the videos and i appreciate everybody who came to participate in the giveaway i can't wait to get these things into hands of others so that they can continue to uh go down the path of this hobby whether it's flight or death and uh if you uh are curious come back thursday morning you might want to be here on for that all right i appreciate your time and thanks for watching